Hello, this video is about Git, specifically um, the difference between merge and rebase in Git. So let me explain what is merge and what is rebase in Git and that will help differentiate between merge and rebase. So let's take a scenario. Suppose you have this master branch and you have two commits on your master branch. Now you create a new branch and uh, let's call it new branch. You do two commits on your new branch. So this commit one and this commit two, these are in uh, in the new branch that you spawn from master. And uh, this commit number one and commit number two is from the master branch itself. Now after you spawned a new branch from master, somebody else committed some changes into the master. So the master now moves forward. So let's suppose there are two commits that have been pushed into master after you have spawned your new branch. So this will essentially be the commit history that's uh, that's going to be created for this scenario. So in a nutshell, there are four commits in master one, two, three and four. And there are two commits in your branch one and two. And you have spawned your branch when the master was on commit number two. Now you want to merge your new branch into master. But the problem is that you don't have the latest changes that uh, went into master after you have spawned a new branch so essentially what you need is the changes that were done on commit 3 and commit 4 and then when you have those changes then you are able to merge your new branch into master so there are two ways to do that first one is a merge and what merge is that you take the changes from your new branch commit 1 and commit 2 you take the changes from the master commit number 3 and commit number 4 and you put those changes into a single commit which you will call a merge commit. So after a merge commit your history will look uh, something like this. So now you have a master branch with a new commit which is a merge commit and what essentially merge commit means is that it will have two parents. So one of them is uh, the commit number 4 and the other one is this, this commit number 2 from a new branch. Now this is one way of doing this. The other way would be rebasing. So back to the previous image, we had our base at uh, commit number 2. What if we could shift our base from commit number 2 to commit number 4? So that is what we do in uh, rebasing. When we actually rebase, then uh, that means that we are shifting our base forward. So now instead of uh, having commit number 2 as a base, uh, my new branch would have uh, commit number 4 as its base. And now it's straightforward. You pick those commits from your new branch and you put them on uh, master branch. And this is what your master branch will finally look. Uh, when compared to merge, rebase will result in a much cleaner git history. As you can see, it's just a straightforward 1, 2, 3, 4 and then uh, the changes from your new branch. Uh, so it's much cleaner as compared to a merge commit. But the drawback is that uh, it rewrites history. Uh, now let's see a practical example of those. Let me just uh, uh, go to terminal and uh, I'll just create a new git repo and uh, do some changes in that. Now I have two changes on uh, on my master branch. Now I am going to spawn a new branch from uh, from my master branch. So now I have these four commits in my new branch, two of them are from master and two of them are in new branch and I am going to switch to master now and create two different commits in, uh, in my master branch.
so now my master has uh, four commits and uh, my new branch also has uh, four commits now let's see the history here so what we have here is that we had two commits on our master branch then we spawned a new branch and we did these two commits on our new branch simultaneously our master moves forward now we have these two commits on our uh, master branch now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a merge here so I'm currently on uh, master branch and I need to merge new branch into master so I'll just write git merge and new branch so I'll yeah I have some conflicts that uh, I need to resolve uh, let me just open the file I've resolved those commits. I'm adding them. I'll commit these changes. If I see the history now, now it shows me that I had two commits on my master. Then I spawned a new branch uh, from my master, and uh, these these two commits are uh, in the new branch. And these two commits just below those commits from new branch they are in master so when I did a merge then all of these changes they went into uh, this single commit this situation was what I specifically talked about when I was showing this image so comparing the image to our git history we see that uh, it's exactly the same this commit this is uh, it's a merge commit Let's also see how many commits are now in, uh, in master. These two initial commits that were in my master branch, then uh, then after that, these two commits they are from uh, from my new branch, and uh, then after that, these two commits they were done on. <coughs> Sorry. So after that, these two commits they were done on uh, master branch. After I spawned a new branch from master, so that is why these commits are after the commits that were in new branch. And then we have this uh, merge commit. Now we are going to rebase instead of merging. And for that, we need to delete our merge commit. So essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this merge commit. So my Git history will again become become like this. So I'm going to do that into a new terminal so that. Uh, I can uh, specifically compare what was uh, what was the history for uh, merging and what's the history for rebasing. So now I have these four commits in my master and uh, if I see the history then I am again back on the point uh, when I did not uh, do a merge commit. So I again have these two uh, commits in my new branch and then uh, these two commits are in my master branch uh, here. So I am now going to rebase instead of uh, merging. So I'll just write git rebase new branch. I'll still have those conflicts and uh, I need to resolve these conflicts. So I'll just delete. Get uh, rebase. Continue. Okay, I forgot to add my changes. Again, there's another conflict. Okay, yeah. I'll just explain in a bit why I had uh, two conflicts uh, one after another. Let me just uh, save this, add and uh, continue with the rebase. Okay, so now I'm finished with my rebasing. Let's see what is the history in, uh, in my master now. So now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six commits in uh, in my master branch when I compare this to merge then uh, I had seven commits the one extra commit that was there uh, because it's a merge commit and uh, it has the changes from uh, 
my new branch as well as uh, from my master branch that is not the case when i was rebasing so let me explain why i had to resolve conflict twice in uh, in rebasing while uh, i had to do it only once when uh, when i was merging so when i was merging what essentially happened was that uh, it took all the changes from my new branch it took all the changes from my master and it was trying to merge all of them together and uh, there was a conflict while uh, merging all of those changes i resolved all those conflicts and uh, kit created a new merge commit with uh, all the conflicts resolved and uh, all of those changes in in a single commit so that is why i had to only resolve conflict once while when i was rebasing i was two commits behind in uh, in my new branch so remember when i told you that uh, when you do a rebase then uh, your branch essentially moves uh, forward from uh, commit number 2 to commit number 4 so that happens gradually your base will first shift to uh, commit number 3 then it will shift to commit number 4 so when my base shifted to this uh, commit number 3 there were uh, conflict because uh, in uh, commit number 3 i made changes in the same lines where uh, i made changes in my new branch so that is why the first conflict and the second conflict was when the base was moving to uh, commit number 4 so that is why i had to uh, resolve uh, the conflict twice when uh, when rebasing and it results in a much cleaner git history it's just a straight forward line instead of uh, instead of this graph here but one thing to remember while rebasing is that uh, it rewrites history now i cannot simply go one commit back and uh, be in a state when uh, i was about to rebase uh, my new branch with my master because uh, if i go one commit back then uh, what happens is that my master will be one commit back and uh, uh, this uh, last commit it will be deleted so there is uh, no way to go back to that state and uh, that is what i meant when i said that uh, a rebase rewrites history so that is all about merging and rebasing in git if you have any questions feel free to comment on this video uh see you in the next one thank you